In this video, I want to show you what Grammarly can do for you. Now, Grammarly picks up m basic misspellings, grammatical errors, punctuation errors, and many other errors that can also be picked up if you don't use the basic free version and you upgrade to the premium plan. I'm using the free version. The premium plan is something around $11.66 per month if billed um, annually. Now, open in front of me is my Grammarly app. And I've dragged and dropped an article in here and I'm going to open it just to show you what it looks like. So when I open this article, it wants me to set goals, audience, general knowledgeable expert, formality, the domain, which I can only choose general. Let's say done. And here it picks up a whole bunch of errors, not all necessarily picked up by the word spell checker. But you don't have to work in this app. You can use the plugin in Word. So here I've installed the plugin in Word. It says Grammarly and open in front of me is an article that we're working on. So it's still a draw in draft format, but you can see most of the um, mistakes picked up by Word has already been corrected. This passive voice is one of the mistakes that I often make. I really try to, to avoid it, but I still make it. So here's my Grammarly tab and I just click open Grammarly and here I can click on all issues and it lists 92 basic issues. But if I had the premium version, it would have given me 134 issues to sort out. So here I can also divide them into the correctness issues, 83 alerts or clarity issues. And I can go through each of them one by one and decide whether I want to change them or not. But what's also nice, there's a, a plug-in for Outlook. Now this is an email that I drafted. You can see no errors that have been picked up by the built-in spell checker. And when I open Grammarly, it's a plug-in installed, it picks up an error here to apply and then I need to put a hyphen in there. Now you can decide whether you want to ignore it or you want to um, apply these suggestions. And there's also a Chrome plugin um, in a, your browser, which also helps a lot when you write directly in websites. So consider this, download the free version, play around with it. It will just make you sound more credible, more professional. Enjoy! If you found this video helpful, smash the like button. For more useful tips to boost your research experience, subscribe to my channel by clicking the subscribe button below this video. If you need a solution to a challenge not yet covered on my channel, leave a comment in the box below. See you in the next video.